When life gives you spiders, you turn them into pest control agents. Welcome to Peppers and Glowworms, a channel dedicated to hot chili peppers and coldly glowing glowworms. <coughs> this is Weirdlog 53, April 2022. Observe, the water reveals a net and this is the creator of the net. I found it among my chili pepper plants, or more specifically, the seedlings of my Cariolokia Screeper Strain Zero breeding line F3. You can see those little spiders were quite busy making their little web. They created it in two pots. Uh, there's also a little bit. Now let's have a look at the creator of the web more closely. You can already see a little orange spider booty right there. Can you see it? It's there and with a little brown marking at the end. Or oh, brownish. Huh? Come on, get out. We want to see you. Hmm. Nice little spider. Have a look. With some lighting, oh, doesn't really help. Woof. We want to see you in action. Oh, okay. Well then. And here is where that spider most likely came from. There are many, many more of its kind roaming around in the lid of, uh, of a former giant African land snail enclosure and uh, they have been living there for uh, two to three years I guess. Uh, I made a video about it. The ancestor of them came to me on a piece of uh, turtle vine. I thought I had gotten rid of them. Uh, they uh, killed one of my glow worms. But uh, they stayed around and you can see those little white cotton ball like thingies there those are their egg sacs and they are quite prolific and they are everywhere everywhere those egg sacs and they uh, reproduce they really are fecund as uh, they say oh man everywhere everywhere they also invaded several of my old enclosures but sadly also my active isopod enclosure they came in with that moss, which was in a... Oh, there's one. Hello, hello. Let's have a closer look. Oh, look. It just caught a springtail, it seems. Let's hope they don't also like uh, isopod monkey. 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 Babies. Anyway, I wanted to do something. What was it? Ah, yes. I wanted to repot my Cariolokia Screeper Strain Zero, the offspring of individual number 4, also known as Ghostfire, because it kinda looked like their ancestor Butchulokia. So this goes there and there. Time jump. Ah. I will focus on those three because they have grown nicely and those are getting outside outside. They did not grow as well, but um, they will be the first to move outside. And now I have an idea. I add some mysterious substance to those pots and this substance is old substrate from a glowworm enclosure and you can see it is rich in springtails, a food source for the spiders as we have seen. And oh. oh there are actually still two glowworms left in this enclosure, so I will have to get them out of there. And now I take an egg sack and put one of them into each pot. My hope is that they will lay down a similar carpet of web in order to keep down the fungus gnat population. Time jump. Oh, and there is proof of concept. They do indeed feast on fungus gnats. 
That's our little friend from earlier in the video. <laughs> Sometime later, I still do not see any progress on those XX. Uh, no. Mm, still looks the same, but uh, just as well. That means the springtail population will have more time to grow. The outside peppers acclimate fine, but also no progress on the XX. Itsy bitsy spider came with the turtle vine. Itsy bitsy spider is uh, now a pepper guardian, I guess, maybe. Oh yeah, and I'm pretty sure my little pepper guardians belong to the spider group of Liniphiidae. They have the wonderful German trivial name of Baldachinspinnen. And they maybe belong to a subgroup uh, of dwarf spiders and perhaps even the genus Ceraticellus, maybe. I saw a very similar specimen on Bug Guide. Perhaps it's a common invasive species of greenhouses. Can anyone help? Does anyone know more?